community is devastated in Duplin County after a 100 year old church is severely damaged in a fire likely caused by a lightning strike. It's a story you first saw on WNCT.com last night. It happened just after 10 o'clock at the First Baptist Church of Bowdens just outside of Warsaw, North Carolina. WNCT's Courtney Allen has more on how the community is now reacting. Courtney. Josh, I spoke with a family today who's been with the church their whole lives. They say the community is devastated from the lost, but were able to save one thing that they say will carry them through this time of rebuilding. We just heard a big boom. We just thought lightning had struck something. I got up, went to the door and looked in the back of the church at the top of the roof was on fire. Sonia Smith called 911 when she saw the First Baptist Church next to her home up in flames. It's depressing because that church has been there close to 120 years, maybe a little bit more, I don't know the exact number. The Smiths have lived across the street most of their lives growing up in the church. Crying the most about the church that I grew up in and memories of my grandparents, my mom, my sister, everybody that I loved. The aftermath of the fire showing water, heat, and smoke damage. The fire department deeming it a total loss. However, one thing came out unscathed. This is the Bible that the firemen brought to us. They were actually able to save this off the pastor's pulpit. There's some of the ashes. And it's been with the church for years. The interior fire uh, crew, they come out and handed me the Bible being given to the family there out there. And we try to get always get the Bible out. God comes first between us and the fire department and everything like that. I think God is just trying to tell us something. Get your Bible, read it, and abide by his word. That's all, I, that's all I can say. Have faith in him and just live by his word. The Smiths cherishing the one thing that's left of their church, but recognizing that material possessions can be replaced. Just remember that God is in your heart. It's not in the building. We hate to see it go, but you still got to have Christ in your heart, and that's all that matters. You can take the church with you wherever you go. Several churches and organizations have already reached out to the church to donate pews and other items. And Kenansville Eastern Missionary Baptist is providing a space for them to hold service next Sunday. They welcome any donations from the community. Courtney Allen, 9 on your side.